Welcome to episode 3 of Wilcox PC Pro Tips. In this episode we're going to discuss what to do when you lose data on a personal storage device such as a USB drive, a memory card, or a hard drive on a personal computer. There are two broad scenarios to discuss when we talk about data recovery on personal devices and that's on a storage device that is still functional and is recognized by your operating system or the more unfortunate one where your device is no longer functional and cannot be recognized by an operating system. So let's start with the first scenario. Say you deleted some files accidentally and you may have even emptied the recycle bin on your computer before realizing your mistake. At this point your data is still there so don't panic. Only the reference to the data is gone. As soon as you realize that you have deleted those files, power down your computer immediately. Even though the data is still there, technically, the operating system sees that space now as free usable space. So it will write over it over time. So as long as you have your computer running, you're at risk of losing that data permanently. Now let's say you have a working hard drive and you've been able to use that working hard drive just fine for a long time. And then all of a sudden you start your computer up one day and it says no boot device found. More than likely that's an issue with your operating system or your master boot record and all you have to do is take that computer and shut it down and then take that hard drive out and send it into a professional experienced technician who has the tools and the knowledge to recover that data. Now another important thing to note is that if you have a working hard drive and it's a mechanical drive and you've been able to use your computer just fine and you're still using it just fine now but you notice some clicking noises coming from that hard drive you need to back up your files immediately because that is a sign that your hard drive is failing and before too long you'll probably get to that point in our next scenario where you have a non-functioning device. So if you have a non-functioning device uh, this is a little bit more of an unfortunate situation but it doesn't mean that your files are completely um, incapable of being recovered. It's possible but uh, you're looking at sending it into a professional technician who has a class 3 clean room or better and it's going to cost anywhere between several hundred dollars and several thousands of dollars. So you have to decide just how important that data is on that hard drive before you move any further. Of course again you want to make sure that no computer is powered on if you're in that situation and that any removable media is taken out of the computer as well. Probably the most important thing to take away from all of this information is regular data backups. There are all kinds of different software programs that you can find online that will help you automatically back up your data, back up your files, your pictures, your videos, and you can also create what's called an image. And an image is an entire copy of a hard drive so that if your hard drive fails for whatever reason or you break your hard drive, let's say you drop a laptop and the hard drive just completely breaks, you can use an image that's on a backed up storage medium and put that image on a new hard drive and you can pick up exactly where you left off. That's it for this episode. If you want to get more tech tips, subscribe to my YouTube channel, find me on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.